Hello, welcome to Jamescom. My name is James Bartholomew. Oh, we haven't loaded the game up yet. There we go. My name is James Bartholomew. Welcome to Jamescom. In the last mission, we took down a our first terror mission, and now we're going to do something else. Not sure what that is exactly without looking at the missions. There are soldiers at the beginning of every every level. We have to look at the memorials, give them a salute. Very well. We have things being built. We've got satellite being built. We've got some of these things. Should we buy armor? I, I'm not overly bothered about armor. I know they would save some lives, but I'd rather us be able to take sure aliens out than not out take aliens out. The uh, the, that guy wants... Ooh, we could build two nanofiber vests, actually. And then get three engineers. We'll do that. You'd never know it by looking at her. That woman is an alien's worst nightmare. There we go. Dispatch those and we get three engineers. Very well. Don't think there's anything else we could do, so let's just do a mission. Here we go. Oh, we interrogated a floater. Cool. That gets us basic armor technology research credit. Cool. Um, let's do melder combinations. That's only four days. Don't know what that is, though. The new engineers arrived this morning, cool. Here we go. Council report. Well, we've got a buttload of, of money there. Commander, your recent results were beyond our expectations. We need to do those missions. We're going to lose Asia. I do not want to move Asia. Lose Asia, sorry. Being able to move Asia would be impressive. Let's put some ships up over Asia. Put two up over Europe. I'm going to put another one over South America. And another one over North America. Looks like we, we want, I want to have it so we've got fighters everywhere. Makes sense, right? This morning, Building facilities. We can put another satellite uplink. I need more power. Does power link together? It does. So we build a power thing there. Excavate that, excavate that. That looks good for now. Let's do a next mission. Which government is over contact? Egypt. Much Here we go. It's a large, large ship. It's in Raven 1. Our best equipped fighters are basic, basic XCOM fighters. Here we go. Engaging bogey. Engaging bogey is what I do when I'm bored. Whoa, that is a big ship. I'm bored. Shit. Well, we lost the fighter. I'm going to send Raven 2 after it now. It's like proper Independence Day. Why don't we send two fighters? Why are we just sending the one? <gasps> it escaped. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. We need to hire another... Well, we need to hire another one of Africa. And I guess we need to better equip those ships, don't we? Whoa, what's that? It's a replicator from, so, st from Stargate. What is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. It is remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. Ooh, my Robocop. Is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself. Ooh, superheroes. Aliens' own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. Meld. Cool, fair enough. Mustard Custodian and Belator in Machina. Mustard Custodian sounds pretty cool. 
Are we gonna have mustard custodians on XCOM, boys and girls? Cybernetics lab, genetics lab. Oh, I guess we can have both. Yeah, we're gonna do that then. Requires genetics lab, depth perception. That looks pretty badass, though. Alright, you know what? We need heavy lasers. Let's put on our spaceship here for power source. Let's go for heavy lasers. Here we go. Five days. Build facilities. We build a cybernetics lab there. I'm going to build a genetics lab next. Wait. Either? Oh. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't build that there, should I? Yes, cancel that. Build it underneath that because it's a laboratory. Do we have a workshop anywhere? We have no workshops. I'm going to build a workshop. Hmm. I think once those once those ex we'll build a workshop there, cybernetics, and then we're going to build the other one down there, the genetics lab. Okay. Hard on me. All right, so we're going to sign construction now. Build facilities. Power generator. So I'm going to build the lab. The laboratory is going to build underneath the. The genetics lab is going to build underneath the laboratory. There. Okay. I'm going to build a cybernetics lab there. Oh, that's good to me. Cool, here we go. Heavy lasers are done. Sweet. Heavy laser can Heavy laser... Rail... Ooh. Heavy lasers require... Okay. Laser cannons. Oh, those are for spaceships. Okay. Let's get the precision lasers then. Or... Light plasma... No, it's a long way away. Let's go for the UFO power source. That sounds pretty cool. Over here, build by items. It looks like we can real gun. Those are for mechs. Okay, which mechs are the? Well, let's buy let's buy two of those. And we're gonna buy laser cannons because those sound awesome. Buy two laser cannons. Got no money left, so we're gonna go to the hangar. This is just gonna be an episode of me. Me building ships. Edit loadout. I was going to put laser cannons on it. And I'm going to put another one over Asia. Because that's where we're most likely... Oh no, don't transfer it. Because that's where we're most likely to lose a country. So put those on there as well. One day until it's armed. Here we go. View yeah, abduction sites. For Japan, we have to. Or we're going to lose it. Globe. Here we go. We're going to send... We're going to give R. Murphy and Time Jumper a, a break. We're going to bring on a soldier that hasn't seen a lot of action recently. We're going to bring on UMB cast. He's an assault. He's going to see some actual action this time. I'm going to give him an arc thrower. We're going to have another need another support going with them. Who's going to be? We don't have another support. Oh, and we're sending two assaults, alright. Then we're going to send... This is a super difficult mission. We won't send you a V-cast yet. We'll send... Actually, no. We can send two assaults. And we'll send a heavy. And that heavy is going to be... Me Megan. I'm not Megan. We can give her a heavy laser. Look at that bad boy. Looking forward to getting him the, um, the, ooh, is that a gun he can have? Ooh, that's exciting. Looks good. We don't have any grenades. We do have rockets. That should, that should help. Our fighter is down. We've lost contact. Our fighter's down. We've lost contact. Yeah, that was ages ago, dude. Begin assault. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien staying cover is the key to staying alive. That's no fun. As I said on Twitter earlier, ASCOM is a mighty machine. Everybody is cannon fodder to defend the human race. Here we go. There's, there's, there is the mighty team of Jamescom. All right. 
solid copy, big sky. First thing we're doing is we're getting JJ up onto the roof. We need to game into a good. Whoa! Whoa! What are those? If I remember correctly, those are mutons. And mutons. Again, if I remember correctly, have grenades. So that means I need to. Good shot there, Megan. And that means I need to get them into cover, my troops into cover immediately, away from each other. So if we move Sauntering Walk up there, she can maybe get a kill on that guy, actually. And she can. Good shot, soldier. I'm going to move Seichi up there. Make him dash. Oh, well, that guy's not in cover up there. Six damage. Whoa, that's actually a really good shot chance and damage. Good shot. Oh, that's right. I thought, sorry. I thought he was still holding a shotgun, but he isn't. He's holding a an assault rifle, isn't he? That's right. Okay, so now we've got another. I forgot we bought two assaults with us on this mission as well. I'm going to dash. I think if we dash UMB cast up there. You can take some shots at that guy, but actually, let's put him on Overwatch. Good shot there, UMB cast. You missed, but it's your first mission back on the squad, so I will not hold it against you. Blood, blood cool. That doesn't sound good. Yo, if you're cooling at your blood, you need help, dude. Good kill there, Seiji. Seiji is the best goddamn soldier this planet has ever seen. I foolheartedly, I wholeheartedly believe that. I almost said foolheartedly, and then I realized that's not actually a phrase. All right, let's see. We get Megan to lay down some fire on that. It's holo targeting, meaning that we're now more likely, and if we suppress him, get Lindsay Sauntering Walk to suppress him, and that means we can then move UMB cast up. Oh, super risky though. Move UMB cast to there. We're going to take another shot at him. Damn it! Good try there, soldier. Now he's going to move. We killed that crate. Huh. What happened there? I kind of want to give him a chance to stun that guy, so we're going to put everyone in Overwatch now. So that if he makes a dash, they all, well, they all kill him. So, let's see what happens. Hunkering down again. Okay. Let's see. UMB cast. Oh, hello. That is really fucking not good. That's really bad. Oh my god. Okay. Higher chance if enemies health. Okay. So that's really not good for UMB cast. Kill that guy. Good kill. Now, however, he has no cover. We're going to move other soldiers over to, to cover him. What's that? Is that rapid fire? On Seiji, you are a good soldier. Good kill, soldier. Seiji is a is a mon. Seiji is. Seiji is well, basically, when he's at home, he plays Bullseye.
JJ, that bullet went through him and you still missed. Come on, guy. Come on. What the fuck? I went through him. Oh, now you're in trouble. No. Shot in the face. By a float. Oh, by two floaters. That would be nice. Okay, so we've got you and B cast there. He's going to take a shot at that floater there. And again, shoot, shoot the moon. Another one we're shooting the moon. JJ is going to kill that floater. Now Seichi is going to take out that one up there. And he is, he's going to take him out. Seichi is, is a beast. Seichi is absolutely the best soldier XCOM has ever seen. Sorry that James Com has ever seen. I'm sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Here we go. Our aliens are moving. I'm gonna move. Hmm. It might be better for us to just move JJ off the roof. Okay. Move Lindsay back down there. I can't even think that we only have one person on the med kit on the team, which isn't good. Let's get Sage to reload. Let's get UMB cars to reload. That means that Megan is the only person on Overwatch right now. He's in the mission. Oh, that's not good. Good kill, Megan. Well done. Okay. Okay, Lindsay, you're going to heal JJ. Spray him with that potion. That sweet healing potion. Good soldier. Now yeah, Sage's moving up. JJ's gonna stay. Actually, no. Let's get JJ to throw up a battle scanner so we've got a little bit more vision. Come on, use that arm, JJ. Woo! Nothing up there. Cool. That means I safely feel like we can move Megan up. Oh, and accidentally not into. Oh no, she's in cover. Okay. Move Lindsay up as well. Here we go. There's, there's, there's that seagull going after JJ. Whoa! Well, he's definitely dead. <laughs> Good shooting troops. That was pretty impressive to watch, to be honest. Here goes UMB cast. And I've got JJ down there using his sniper rifle. I'm gonna move Megan up again. Two floaters. Ah, now JJ gets a shot of that, that guy, and that's a kill, it looks like. Nope. Well, he did kill something. He killed that bird that was sitting on that roof. Good shooting, soldier. Very well done. You are not a disappointment at all. But no, really, you are. Now, Seiji, by the other, on the other hand...
Where's he going? He's flanking. I think we can get JJ to get a kill on him. Yeah, 90% chance to hit. Boom. Headshot. Good kill, soldiers. We lost We lost all our meld, but that's okay. No one died. No one got injured. And that was a super difficult mission, which should lower down the panic in Japan. And we all know Japan gets freaked out really easily. As we've seen from those Godzilla documentaries. Let's see, JJ. Eliminates aim penalty on reaction shots and allows... Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go for that opportunist. That sounds pretty badass. Awesome. Remember, we will be now, can we buy... Alright, we can make the squad size 6. We'll do that. Leading by example, the squad leader substitutes his or her will for that of all nearby lower squad. That sounds pretty cool as well, but we don't need that yet. I want the on the uh, the rapid recovery one, to be honest. All right, that's episode 11 of Jamescom. Thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying it, please hit that subscribe and share button. Um, sharing is the most important thing you could do for me. Retweet this thing, share it to your friends, as that's what raises the word of mouth, and that's how people get to find my stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you for sharing. Uh, episode 12 should be up right after this one. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.